Okay, this is a quick circuit bend cheat. First of all, circuit bending is where you take a vintage keyboard, you crack it open, and you use solder, wires, and switches to give it new sounds. Often people will take the speaker out or add a little box on the side of the keyboard, and that way their keyboard can do new stuff that it couldn't do back in the 80s. The best keyboards to bend, to circuit bend, are the Casio SK-1. This was the first Casio SK I got. They're pretty common. They go for about $50 to $100 on eBay and other auctions. The most popular one is the Casio SK-5. This is on the TV show Bob's Burgers. Gene plays one. Uses the dog sound. You can sample with it. Hello! Yeah. I'm a sampler. I'm a sampler. I'm a sampler. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sampler. You get it, and each key does whatever. So you have four samples, short or two long ones. This keyboard is very popular, and it's probably a hundred to two hundred dollars, depending on what kind of deal you get. It's a great keyboard to have in a collection. It, it's not just a kid's toy. I think it was made back in '87. It was the first home sampler really I believe. Now for my birthday this week I got the Casio SK-8. These are rather rare. They're not on eBay all the time. You gotta catch them when you can and try to get a good deal. They have ROM packs in them so the light it lights up when it plays the song on the ROM pack. It has new sounds on it and a couple new rhythms. This is how it sounds plain. Obviously that's not the end of the world. I think it's a pretty cool keyboard. As you can see, I love the SKs and I collect them. Now, as far as, as, far as circuit bending goes, the Casio SK-1 is pretty ra is common, so I'll probably crack that open and give it a good old-fashioned circuit bend. But this SK-8, or any other rare keyboard, you might not want to crack open and go messing with because if you do destroy it, which there's a chance of, or you don't get it working like you want, then you might have ruined a really great vintage item. So this is my cheat to circuit bending. First of all, I have an input mic running from my audio interface into this machine so that I can record. On my computer, I have Cyclop by Sugarbytes and the demo of Diva, which is an awesome synth that is often used in movies. <laughs> is I've sampled these sounds into the keyboard so obviously you can never get that sound normally in this keyboard but now we can because I've sampled it in with a mic now for effects what you can do is use the wonderful audio bus you take an output wire, run it into something like an iRig. Now, I use the iRig because it's affordable and one of the most common ones. Uh, there's, of course, the iRig HD, Apogee. There's numerous interfaces to use. You research, pick which one you want to use. It do you don't just have to plug guitars into these. You can plug keyboards. Off camera right now, I have a Moog theremin right here. I use my theremin all the time plugged into my phone. and. Instead of circuit bending, what you do is you use mic input on the audio bus and then something like rooms, which I just got convolution reverb the other day, which is awesome. And right now I have amplitude loaded for the pedals and effects. But basically, instead of circuit bending this, I can now use audio bus with sample tank, Magellan, all sorts of synths with their effects, guitar effects apps to get new sounds out of this vintage Casio. So let's see what we can get out of here. I have the noise filter on and the compressor now. Let's do some delay. Let's reverb. Rock 
sound that you heard earlier now has this with the delay effect. That's pretty cool, I think. We can try reverb. circuit bend without actually cracking open the keyboard and circuit bending. You can get all the effects. All you need is an old Casio or Yamaha that has an output and instead of plugging the output into an amp, you plug it into an, a guitar interface and all the different apps you have on AudioBus and voila, it saves you all the time of cracking open a keyboard and circuit bending. So hopefully that was helpful to some people and get yourself some Casio SKs. They're awesome keyboards.